There were dozens of rallies across the country today to support the U.S. Postal Service, including one right here in downtown St. Louis. Demonstrators are demanding protections and billions of dollars to pay for critical services. Our Kelly Hoskins attended the rally and has more. Well, as those demonstrations took place across the country, labor, elected, and community leaders all gathered here at the United States Postal Service in downtown St. Louis, holding signs, calling for action to make sure that the mail is delivered on time. On Tuesday, thousands of people across America participated in the Save the Post Office rallies in various states. We want the post office to know that I stand with them in this fight because this is a fight. St. Louis is just one of many around the country to show support for postal services amid cost-cutting moves that led to widespread complaints about slow mail service. Among the cuts, the removal of mail sorting equipment and mailboxes created a political firestorm in a pandemic where mail ballots are expected to be critical. We just want to make sure the public knows everything the post office is going through and what we're doing, the unions are doing to make sure that their mail is delivered and delivered timely. That's very important to us. We take that very seriously and we make, we're going to make sure that it gets done. Holding signs, elected community and labor leaders and the American Postal Workers Union called it a day of action. The group wants senators to pass $25 billion in funding for the Postal Service to stop and reverse the mail slowdown policies. The U.S. House approved the funding Saturday. I'm sure that everybody's noticed a slowdown in mail okay, delivery. Okay, um, I'm sure everybody's seen the stories of mail sorting machines being taken out of post offices around the country, mailboxes being removed off of corners, and we want to let people know that we're paying attention and, and this won't stand. The fact that they're making this a Democrat or Republican issue when people that deliver mail may be Republicans, you know, they still deserve their jobs. You know, how do you come against people? You know, but working for the Postal Service is not a, a partisan or a bipartisan thing. It's just people. Reporting in downtown St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins, News 11.